The Silverfast hot folder concept consists of number one, creating input and output folders. We can create as many input and output folders or directories as we need. Up to 10 input and 10 output folders can be created. Number two, in Silverfast HDR, define functions to be used, such as raw conversion, color conversion, sharpening, calibration, and so on. Number three, start hot folder and create hot folder sets. Means the hot folder function is started and the hot folder dialog will come up where we create one hot folder set for each set of operations. Number four, allocate input and output folders. Each hot folder set gets an input and output folder accordingly. Number five, allocate operations for each hot folder set. The actual Silverfast operations, such as for instance scaling, gets allocated here. Number six, start hot folder operation by just pressing the start button. The first step is to create input and output folders or directories accordingly. Here we have created an input folder called Moni. It con already contains camera raw files and a second folder called Florida contains HDR 48-bit files. Each input folder should have one output folder. We have also created a hot archive folder. All the original files will be moved to that folder. An hot error folder will contain any error messages that might come up. Now we organize some operations for the folder with camera raw files. We want them converted to 48-bit HDR format and scaled down to 76%. We go to image mode and select 48-bit HDR format and save under setting. In the scaling dialog, we set scaling to 76%. For the folder with HDR files from a scanner, we create an option setting. Under General Options, CMS, we set Use Embedded Profile. Since we have the profile from the IT8 calibration embedded with the scans. Under Auto, uncheck Auto Contrast. And under General Panel, we save this option under Option Embed C Off. Now we go to the Frame Panel and select 48 to 24 bit and auto sharpen and save under settings 24 auto usm now we switch to the hot folder dialog and create hot folder sets. We name the first one Muni. And the next one Florida. Now we allocate the input folders. to Mooney and to Florida
and the output folders. Again to Muni. And to Florida. And finally the archive folder. And the error folder. Now we allocate the operations to each hot folder set. For Muni, we select HDR output format and the scaling check field. For Florida, we select 24 Auto USM and under Options embed C off. For each output we select TIFF format. Now we are ready to start the hot folder machine by pressing the start button. We see the hot folder becomes active and starts its operation. Now one file after the other will be processed and put in the output folders accordingly.